Alrighty then, folks. Hello there, and welcome to another new game. Well, not really a new game. I go on tangents about this every once in a while. Welcome to SD Gundam G Generation Neo. You might have already seen the open, but uh, the opening, but that thing is crazy, man. Uh, so I've had this game. This is probably the first Japanese Gundam game I ever bought. And back when I did buy it, I was really, really disappointed in it because it's really not that good. It also doesn't save your settings, apparently, when you restart the game. Because, you know, fuck the rules and all that shit. But yeah, I really don't enjoy this one very much. I'm telling you that now, but I needed a game that could get you all to kind of understand what G Generation's Genesis which is the new one for the PS4 that's coming out in about a month. Actually, as of recording this, it's coming out in exactly a month. So I needed something that's similar to that, but the Spirits, which is my favorite, War, which is my other, which is my, the one I dislike the most, and then World and Overworld, well, Spirits and Wars are totally not built for this. Like, LPing them is really difficult and it's not gonna happen. Like, it just doesn't work. And then World and Overworld are both copyrighted and Bandai doesn't like you posting them to the point where they'll take you down. I think I got one video out of nine still up after a year or two years or whatever it was. Or it might have been two videos because I split in two. I don't exactly remember. But I considered playing those two, especially since one of them is about to have an English patch. But I figured I would try this one out beforehand. So I haven't, I just created this ISO and I haven't really played in almost five years. But I paid about 1100 yen for this, and I want to get my money's worth. So that means at least 11 hours of enjoyment. Even though that's not exactly how yen works. And 1100 yen's like 8 bucks, but that's not important. But anyway, this is a uh, grid-based tactical game where you follow a very linear path and you do almost exactly the same thing every single match because the AI's not all that smart. But I'll strive to translate it and get it mostly down for you guys so you can understand it um i don't know when this is gonna come out but i have about five weeks to do this so i imagine i'll have about 10 episodes out before genesis comes out because while genesis does come out in a month i won't be getting it till at least a week or two later unless i get really lucky and then i'll get it the next day but who knows but yeah from the opening you can see that this game has at least got uh at least uc suits and Gundam Wing. I don't know if it has any beyond that, because I only got to the gun, to the 0079 part of the game. I only got about three, I got about three missions in before I, like, rage quitted, because it was so bad. Um, yeah, I never actually played this beyond that, like, I, I think I got, like, through the beginning of the third mission, and then I just quit. But you'll see why in a little while, it's very boring. Uchusei. ドブロース。あ、増えすぎた人口宇宙に移民させるようになってすでに反省期が過ぎていた。地球の周りには巨大なスペースコロニーが浮かび、人々はその人口の大地を新たな故郷としていた。宇宙で生活をすることが普通の
神の放ったメギドの日に必ずや彼らは屈するであろうジオン公国総帥ギレンザビの演説の中核パルスエンジンを装着した頃にアイランドイフィッシュは地球へ向けてゆっくりと動き出すこれまでの戦闘ですでに多大な被害を受けていた地球連邦軍であったがコロニー落下阻止のために残存した宇宙艦隊を衛星軌道上にかき集めていたやがてコロニーは地球に近づきその異様を連邦軍に見せつける今両軍の総力を挙げた作戦が始まろうとしていた Alright, so that was about, I think, the extent of the voice acting in this game. There's a couple of lines, but they're the very generic and iconic stuff. So I'll try to translate all of that, but、uh, text, ascending text is like the bane of my existence because I have one of the older versions of Sony Vegas, which doesn't do it very well, and it takes forever to set up. So I might just like stick it in some blank space on the screen or something, I don't know. But yeah, so I'll translate this too, but I'm not gonna actually read it out. Mainly because I know people don't like that, but also I'm gonna misread something and somebody's gonna complain about it, so that's not gonna happen. Dozeru Tachi! So, I just want you guys to remember that Dozel is here. You'll see why in a second. We're also really far out for a satellite orbit. That here is Bascom, the second in command of the Titans, who gets purged by Shirako. He was, in fact, a Federation admiral for a while there, or captain at this point. He is in this game, too. Though I don't remember if you see him more than just at this point in the game. That's Mirai. It's Brito. That's that useless person. Though I think we actually have to use her later, which is gonna get fun. She will die. I do like the music in this, though. That there is Shin Matsunaga, the White Wolf of Solomon, I think it is. He is Dozel's bodyguard and one of the strongest pilots in Xeon. He is something like 8th or 9th. There's Sima, who's Best Grill. She's in this in a Galgoog Marine. She should be in Granada right now, but she isn't. And there is Char in a Zeong. Remember that Dozel is still here. I.e., this means it's before Solomon, and yet he has a Zeong. Something is already wrong. Alright, analog sticks don't work in this game. Poo. This is really early days of the PS2. And I think that said we had six turns. I didn't really read it. So I didn't actually tell it to go by, it just went by on its own. Yeah. So we have a, like, a list of when we can deploy people. 
Like, yeah. So we can deploy Amuro, Kai, and Hayato right now. Yep, and they can... This is the early G Generations game, so after we deploy him, we can't have him attack. Though, we can't move him anyway, or move him far enough anyway, so it doesn't matter. Amuro, Gandamu, Ikimas. So yeah, he doesn't have commander bonus in this one, like he would in the next game. So there's no point in making them in any formation whatsoever. But this just works better. And now we have Sela and two generic people. Sela and the core booster, which she'll probably get shot down. It just happens. You don't have to send her back, uh, send her out, but early on in the game, there's no point in not doing it. Oops, I misclicked. Come on. Quit doing that cycle thing. That's a GM Sniper 2. So these guys are in line with Seema and those two Galgoog Marines. This is a GM Space Command. Whoops. It automatically cycles me to the next one, and I'm not used to it. So, like, I'm, I'm cycling past. Then the white base. Oh, this is capture mode. I forgot that was a thing. Okay, so... See this here, Musai? With Dozel as the captain? It, ha it currently has three Rick Doms in it. Yeah, I don't know how I can select them. Yeah, not sure how I can show you what there are in there, but there are three Rick Doms with generic pilots. Um, if we shoot down the Musai without destroying those Doms, we can perchance capture those Doms. Oops. And also capture mode on a Salamis sucks balls. We have five turns left to stop the colony. We do lose if that doesn't work out. And we have the choice to either attack back or to evade. Um, he has a 65% chance of hitting, so we, we're going to fire back. Um, yeah, we have the choice. This is missiles. This is machine gun. And this is the make a particle cannon. Um, it doesn't really give us an accuracy, which is annoying, but we'll go with Mega Particle Cannon for the lulls. It's the most likely to miss. Oh, we have a 50% chance of hitting. It tells us after. No, and he did all. So he used both his bazooka and his Zaku machine gun. But we hit and fucked him up. Which is why we did it. So he did like all of 900 damage to us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he did about 900 damage to us and didn't do much after that. And once, because we hit him with a battleship, we got this thing called tension, which is basically the higher your tension, the more likely you are to do criticals. So we're countering that Zaku, which I didn't check what he was using, but probably a Zaku bazooka. So we have the choice between the beam rifle or the hyper bazooka, even though there's no way Amuro could be carrying both. And if you notice at the top, we have 115 EN. Every attack costs energy. This one costs, the beam rifle costs six, the bazooka costs 10. The Gundam hammer, or actually that's all out. This is all the attacks, which only has a 50% chance of hitting, but takes 20. We could use beam saber, Vulcans. Uh, that's the Gundam flail or the Gundam hammer or whatever you want to call it. Oh, hey, we can actually tell him to do both that way. That's cool. So the bottom one's not all out. It's his special, 
Which I know Char's is kicking people, because that's always Char's. So we want to be careful and conserve energy, but Amuro has quite a bit, so it's not that bad. And Kai has both the shoulder cannons and a beam rifle. Oh, we can only do one or the other. I we want to do shoulder cannons. I'll start skipping these eventually after we've seen them all. But this is the first episode, so... And Kai missed. God damn it, Kai. I forgive you, though. So yeah, we wasted some energy, so did they, but we didn't do any damage to them. And then there's Amuro, or there's Char, who's just standing there. Um, just because I'm curious if it works like this in this one. So the red one is our close range attack. The green one's going to be our beam can or our laser rifle. And then the blue one's going to be our bazooka. But we want to melee Shin because melee has the highest chance of hitting. We can also do head Vulcans, but we don't need to because Shin's so low on HP. And he's choosing to evade because he has barely any HP left. But since he got attacked, he got tension up or something. Damn it. Fine. Damn it, Amaro. You had one job. Oh, okay. We, yeah, we can only tell Kai or Hayato to attack right now. We can't tell the ball to do it. Or I'd have the ball or the GM go kill Shin. Yep, we have a 67% chance to hit. They have a 62% chance. Hopefully we hit them and they miss. Yeah. Damn it. I blame you, Kai. Wait, how much HP do you have left yet? Anyway, AI dude. You know. We're gonna go with that one and hope it hits. Because if it does, Kai or Hayato will take him down. If it doesn't, oh well. Yay! I gotta love how low poly the models are. They're like six or seven polygons, but since they have to load so many. It makes sense. Yay, hey, Hayato, you did a thing. So, ball dude. Use that cannon. Apparently, you can Kai the fuck out of them, though. And we could get support from Sela. This is that thing I didn't do earlier because I thought the melee would land. You can get a support hit where you allow your ally to attack as well. Which, thinking about it, I really shouldn't, but I'm going to. Whoops. Thought it would go back to where it was before. I shouldn't, but I'm going to. Eh, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care about Sayla. So yeah, we have a 47% chance to hit. And then a 60% chance, to, or a 59% chance to hit. Hopefully one of them hits him. And does enough damage to kill him. But if not, the ball will take a bunch of damage. But who cares? Yay, ball, you did a thing. Yeah, so I was wondering, but if you kill somebody, you don't get to move again. Which kind of sucks. We also got an emblem. No clue what that does. But yeah, in spirits, if you shoot someone down, you can, uh, you can move again. And we have a beam rifle, apparently. Though it's probably a beam spray gun. Yeah, it is. We're just hail marrying this because we can. 
Oh, and they're evading, so that's good. Oh, yeah, he's about to die. <laughs> ah, I got him and the other one mixed up. Oh, well. But yeah, that gives us four turns to take on both Char and uh, Seema and her guys. I think we'll send Amuro and his team towards uh, Char, wherever Char is, over here. And then we'll send uh, we'll send the rest of the guys over towards Seema. Though what we should do is we should send everyone towards this Musai and try to capture those Doms before the end of the mission. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Um, we should try sending them towards the Musai to destroy the Musai so we can capture the Doms. Because if we destroy the ship last and we can't capture the Doms before the end of the stage, the stage will end. Which didn't really make sense when I was trying to explain it, but, like, it makes sense if you do it. Apparently the beam rifle on the GM sniper is really weak. It shouldn't be, but it is. Wow. Okay, yeah, we don't want to do that. You know, it's a GM sniper, so I assumed we'd be able to outrange him. Nope, apparently the Galgoog Marine's machine gun can do, like, max range. But we can get in some amazing supports eventually. Oops, that's capture mode. We don't need that. Yeah, we got four more turns, so we got till turn seven, basically. Um, we want to fire back just because we don't have a chance at held the dodge anyway. And hopefully we only take two or three hits, or one or two hits, not all three. Never mind, I misread that. I thought they were doing three attacks. They're only doing one, apparently. It's not that bad. Let's see, we got Amuro. We can... Or we can Gundam flail him. That might be fun. Yeah, they only have a 33% chance to counterattack us. And I don't think we'll kill... We don't want to kill him this turn. So we can get him to send out his doms. Because if we can get him to send out his doms, we can capture them. But if they get destroyed while they're inside the mobile suit, yeah. we're fucked. Luckily, we didn't throw the flail. Uh, a lot of ship-to-ship -ship combat is done in this, so... If you want to do a lot of damage, you shoot your ship at them. But yeah, he lost tension from missing with the flail. Yeah, there's only a 61% chance we'll dodge the main Mega Particle Cannon this time. Alright, that doesn't do as much damage as it does in the other games. Awesome. Yeah, the other games it does like a ton of damage. But yeah, we can't get Kai there in enough time anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I was just wondering why it was blinking. Yeah, we can't attack him, so we just gotta end the turn there. Neither of these guys can reach, and we're not gonna send Sayla out on her own. That'd just be suicide. So we actually want to send out this guy. Have him do that. Have him do that. Have him get support from this guy. So now we have a double chance to hit. 
Well, the AI can only hit us once. Hopefully, we'll do enough damage to where that other GM command can come in and kill him. Or, you know, miss. And he, he totally took that on his shield. Don't give me that shit. Oh, well. Yeah, so then we do this, we go melee, we do that and that, then we get some support from the sniper as well. 81% uh, chance versus our 86, so hopefully we can do quite a bit of damage to him. I don't know if he got hit by that or not. We definitely got hit by that, though. One thing I can say, though, is I'm pretty sure we'll be able to shoot down these three guys before all, of, all three of our guys get killed. And hopefully we can hit him in this one, because if we can, he dies. I didn't check how likely we are to hit, though. With, yeah, I was about to say, with his track record, really low. But we did a little bit better than I suspected. Yay, now he's in high tension mode. Oh, and because he went up in tension, he's allowed to move again. Awesome. And he has enough tension to do this. I'm only doing it because I'm entirely curious what it is. It's a special action. And it's probably going to get him killed, but who cares? Okay, yeah, so it's an all attack, basically. So if you're curious what an all attack is, is it's basically they attack with all their weapons. Those uh, those come up a lot more in other games. Like, G-Generations doesn't have much of it. Though, um, Super Robot Wars does. Which is mostly where I know it from. Yeah, I guess battleships can't move and attack in this one. Which kind of sucks, but oh well. I think that's how it is in the later games, too. We're probably going to get hit by this, but oh well. We have a ton of HP. Oh, he's using special on us. Fun. Now, I'm really hoping you to play your doms. Because if you do, that means next turn we kill you. Yeah, we only have three turns left. Um, we want to avoid... Oh, no, we don't want to avoid, we want to block. Or no, this one's block, this one's avoid. Usually they're switched. We want to avoid. So it only gives us a 66% chance to block instead of a 94% chance to get hit. Because, yeah, we'd we'd be in trouble. I'm really hoping we block, or we dodge this. Well, damn. Oh, he's attacking Bright. We only have a 50% chance to hit. He has a 76% chance, but... Oh, well. Oh, 
And we missed. Oh, no, we didn't attack yet. Those earlier lasers were just bullshit. Yeah, we missed anyway. But what we are going to do is we're just going to take this guy down. Because as much as I want him, we can live without him. And I'm hoping this increases our tension enough to where Amuro gets to move again so we can have Hayato and Kai uh, get support while they attack Char. So they'll provide cover fire while Amuro moves into actually melee. Eh, or not. Oh well. Shit's tough, man. Though we will use this because I'm pretty sure we can kill him. And Kai, you're gonna also help. Or Hayato. Yeah, he's dodging, so we only have a. One in, we only have a 54% chance to hit. Which is a very bad way to say exercising. Wow. Kai leveled up. Now, I don't know if if uh, character levels are kept only in the stage or they're all throughout the game. I'm hoping it's all throughout the game, but it might be just throughout the stage. Um, yeah, we're not going to do that just because, yeah, they're about to die, yo. Going to have them retreat back and go get a little bit of healing. They'll redeploy next round. Are you going to go shoot your sister, man? Hmm. Possibly. Or actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to move this here GM to go shoot at you. Because we don't care about this here GM. We have a 50% chance to hit. He has a 95% chance because new type. Damn. Yeah. That I was expecting. And then going to move you up. So I'm hoping he either goes after white base or he goes after Amuro. But if not, he kills these guys and who gives a shit? So this guy, if he gets hit, he'll probably have about 400 HP left. Wow, he actually hit. Or he'll die. That works too. I don't think we're penalized for that. That's all good. I'm hoping she dodges. I'm sorry, yo. Yeah. We're just whittling him down. You, you're gonna... Actually, I want to see if we can swing this. We want to... If you melee, you'll do that and that. You'll give us support with that. We just want to kill this guy. 
It doesn't matter how much energy we actually use. But if we can get enough, uh, we can get enough tension to rank up. We can have the other GM command go attack Seema with support from the sniper. We can have this guy go attack Seema with support from the sniper. Then we could have the sniper go suicide himself. Yeah, I was hoping for that. Or no, he didn't get another step, damn it. Oh well. So this is probably going to get him killed. Definitely going to get him killed. Damn it. Hey, it didn't get him killed. Oh, just almost got him killed. Awesome. And you, you get to go and... You get to go commit suicide. Congratulations. You have died for your country. Too bad they only made 12 of those. Now there's only like 11 of those. And half of them are in Australia. Because white dingoes. Kind of wish we would have captured those doms, but I don't actually know if that's possible, so I'm not worried about it. Yeah, you don't have an attack pattern either. I'm hoping to entice her to go attack the ship instead of one of our guys, because then we have yet another round of suicide. Yeah, we have two turns left. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, we're not going to attack because all we have is anti-air guns. Though that only... Oh, it takes 20% of the chance for the dodge. Sasenyo. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Ah, poo. Oh, he, she is actually attacking the ship. That's good. That's what we wanted to happen. We have, like, a no chance in hell to hit, and she has a 98% chance. But if we do hit, we'll kill her. Or we'll get really damn close to killing her. Okay, so now we just have the GMs go melee her to death. Oh, yeah, we have to use Amuro. Whoops, I forgot. But you'll notice that both of these guys are at full HP now. Which is why we did that. Oh, fine. I'll go here, then I'll go here, then I'll do that, and I'll do that. Butthead. Contact bandit. Damn it, Amaro. He had one job. One job. Oh well. Oh, yeah, can use both, apparently. Awesome. Come on, suicide yourself, dude. It's fine. You'll be remembered as a hero. 
generic guy number seven. God damn. We might lose just because Char can dodge too well. Come on, Sailor, you can do it. Awesome. You can do it. It's sad when Sela does better than Amuro does. Oh. Okay, she's dodging. Which could be interesting. Yeah. All right, generic dude. Yeah, just one space off. Damn. you there. We have one turn left. Yeah. Come on, GM. You can do it. He's gonna die. There wasn't a chance in hell he was going to survive that. Come on, Hayato, you can do it. You just need one hit. Oh, and apparently you can't skip the... You can't skip the battle phase after you show it, which is annoying, to say the least. You have a better chance to hit. Come on, I, uh, Kai, you're our only hope. And you're a piece of shit, Kai. You are our only hope and you failed. You might get demoted lower than Frau now. Which is sad. But at least he's not as bad as Fa. If he was that bad, I'd be very disappointed in him. Come on, Amuro, you're a hero. You have a one in two percent chance or er, one in two chance of hitting. Alright. Come on, Sailor. You just need one hit. One hit. <sighs> well, that's been fun. 
I, I know. Well, 